Good evening guys, this is Sumail. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn about white balance. When you work on a project in Dialogs Evo, after making a complete construction, planning on the lighting layout and you then run the calculation. Once you calculate and see the output, it may not as per your requirement. Maybe your lighting design is with the luminance of 3000 Kelvin CCT or 4000 Kelvin CCT but your light output here in the simulation looks more of white. It is not as per your requirement. Then you go to the display option and in the white balance this is now at standard get manual and then you try to adjust the color scale and here understanding this white balance is very important to adjust the scale properly if you don't adjust the scale maybe your output is more neutral or maybe warmer or more warmer or maybe you're totally white so understanding the white balance is very important to properly generate the results you require in the simulation what is white balance white balance refers to the color temperature at which white object on the film actually looks white so it is very simple to understand white balance so it is nothing but whatever the object might be if it is white in color then it has to appear white itself under any color temperature that is what the white balance is if you are someone who knows photography you may be familiar with the terms automatic white balance awp so it is nothing but when you try to click a picture under any color temperature, maybe it's a sunset, sunrise or in a daylight, then whatever the object you're capturing, if the object is white, then it has to appear white. That is what AWB is, automatic white balance. Now to understand more in detail about the white balance, let's understand our color temperature chart. We are all aware as lighting designers that we have color temperature of light from warm white to cool white. So warm white ranges from 2500 Kelvin, 3000 Kelvin. Okay, these are more warmer tones. And as you go in the scale at 4000 Kelvin, you have cool white. Then as you go more ahead, you have daylight at 5000 Kelvin and then at 6500 to 7500 Kelvin the temperature becomes more cooler that is you have cool whites okay similarly when you extend more you have more cooler tones of the color the color temperature scale from warm white to the cool white and the scale extends like say from 1800 Kelvin it goes on till 8000 to 12000 Kelvin. To make it more simple to understand, let's plot a graph of color temperature at x axis. Say the color temperature starts from 2500 Kelvin and then let's plot till 6000 Kelvin. Okay, we know that from the color temperature chart that at this point we have more warmer color of tones, that is, say, amber color. Okay, when you are at 2500 Kelvin, we have more of amber and then slowly the amber gets reduced as you go ahead in the scale. Now similarly, you have more cool color temperature here and then it gradually decreases as we go down the scale, right? Let's draw a normal line between this. So at any point, if you want to balance, achieve white balance, say here you have 2500 Kelvin and if you need to balance the white, you have to mix little bit of blue in that to get the white balance. Similarly, if you are at this point of scale, say you are at 6000, then you have to mix a little bit of amber to get the white balance. And if say, if you are at 4000 Kelvin, you need to have equal balance of amber and blue. Let's understand the white balance in dialogues with a project. So here is a project of Majlis sent by my friend Mr. Abdul Majid on a request. He sent me this dialogues file for this tutorial. It's a Majlis room with a seating area and uh, it has a TV unit at one side, a huge windows. And one planter at this side in the lighting we have 
just added some down lights and we have a curtain grazer light or a cove lighting now the color temperature of the down lights i'm using here is 3000 kelvin and the color temperature of the led strip i'm using is also 3000 kelvin now let's run the calculation okay my calculation is completed and now my luminous are of 3000 kelvin right to achieve the white balance if i need if i'm in the 3000 kelvin to achieve white balance i need to mix some blue so that means i'll go here to the display options here in the white balance if it is in standard make it to the manual so my chart says to achieve the white balance in this scene i need to add some more cool color so what i will do is i'll gradually increase the scale okay i'm going towards more cooler colors see my luminaire color temperature is 3000 kelvin and now the scene looks more like 4000 kelvin so i will move a more ahead okay now see when i'm increasing the scale and moving towards more color cooler color tones i'm getting the scene that matches to my 300,000 kelvin scale right so i think this is perfect i'll make it to 4850 i'll manually enter the digits enter and i think and i think the scene looks perfect it represents the 3000 kelvin light scene i designed so i'll go export save new view and let's make a quick render we'll close this one let's try another example we'll go to the lights now let's change the color temperature of light say from 3000 kelvin i'll make it 5000 kelvin apply even the led luminaire i will change it to 5000 kelvin this is just to understand i'm not using the 5000 kelvin in the residential space it is just for understanding how to achieve the white balance now if you still have a confusion on how i'm balancing this warm and cool warm and cool consider a small simple example now tell me if the water is hot or if the water is very warm to make it normal what do you do you mix some cool water into the hot water or a warm water to bring it down to the normal room temperature right similarly if you have a cold water then you are going to add some warm water to bring it down to the normal room temperature remember this example this will help you to easily understand and adjust the white balance scale in the dialogs evo now here for the luminous i have set it to 5000 kelvin cct let's run the calculation calculation is completed okay though i set the cct of this luminaire to 5000 kelvin the scene looks warmer okay i need the scene to be more on a cooler side so remember the example of the water i gave you so i'll go to the display options now cct of the luminous is 5000 kelvin which is on cool color temperature side so you can imagine the example the water is cool warm water in it water comes down to the normal room temperature right so that means here i need to go on a warm warmer side of the scale to get cool color tones in my light scenes I'll manually set the number to 4500 Kelvin or 4800 Kelvin and this looks like a proper 5000 Kelvin cool color temperature scene. So this is how you're going to make a setting in the white balance to get the required results. You may have a question like Samaya so in my project I'm using more of warmer color tones as textures for the furnitures and that's the reason when i'm setting the white balance it is appearing to be more warmer 
though my sinus set to maybe 4000 kelvin for that let us take an example of this render here the lights the luminous are set for 4000 kelvin and if you see the furniture it has more warmer tones okay so it has maroon for this chairs and pillows and i have a mix of orange and gray for the carpet more of the wooden textures and more of warmer color tones for walls curtains etc but still when i see the light scene as a whole the scene looks to be at 4000 kelvin now let me change the textures to more cooler tones here i have changed the color of the sofas to blue which is on a cooler cooler color tones even for the pillows plus i changed it even on the carpet so if you see both the image there is no difference in the light scenes in the visual representation of the color temperature of the light scenes both are at 4000 kelvin scale it doesn't matter what colors you are using in the furniture you have to make the setting as per your luminaire color temperature and then you have to balance the temperatures in the white balance now we are when we are talking about the textures i want to add a point say if you're using a texture that is too bright and it is emitting its own hues of light then at that time a little bit more considerate while selecting the textures for example for example say you're using some orange wood texture i'll use this one see this texture is very bright i'll copy image and uh, now i'll remove this window and i will add this texture here okay here i have a led strip so this texture is in direct contact with the light output from this led strip right now i will run the calculation and as you see because of this orange texture which is very bright it is emitting some orangish hue on this wall if you observe if you observe closely you can see that hues okay so this may also impact when we are visually seeing your laptop and adjusting the white balance maybe if you're using such kind of texture you may have some difficulty while adjusting the white balance in that case such kind of textures are very important to you in this project a simple solution for this is take the texture and reduce it its reflection factor now it is at 31 we'll reduce it to say 20 and apply material now run the calculation and now if you observe on the wall the orange hue has reduced a more similarly if you want to get more realistic effect try reducing the reflection factors of very bright textures in your project so this was about white balance i hope the concept is clear just remember the symbol thumb rule that if you're using warmer cct in your luminaires then in the white balance you have to go on the scale of cooler temperatures and if you're using the luminaires with cool color temperatures then in the white balance you have to adjust the scale to more warmer side so this was about white balance so this is it guys in this video if you like this video please hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more and dialogues with me thank you